What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons. Today, I'm going to compare the Ahuhu uh, -hoo markers and the Copic markers, and just so you guys can see which one is better in your opinion. But although, in my opinion, I use both markers, and they both work great in my opinion, because I have a collection of both Ahuhu uh -hoo markers and Copic markers, I want to make an illustration with both the markers, and I'm going to let you guys decide which one you would prefer. So, here's how this video is going to go down. I'm going to compare the markers, compare their prices, compare their features, the color selection, Basically, if you go to shop for these markers, I'm just stating the facts to you guys so you won't be going through a whole lot of research and everything just to find some facts about the markers because that's what I'm here for. And then later on in the video, I'll make an entire illustration, split it in half, do one side with coping markers and the other side with the hoo hoo markers. And throughout the process of me making the illustration, I'll explain the markers' performance. And at the end of the video, I'll show you guys a side by side comparison between the Copic markers and the Ahuhu markers, and I'll let you guys decide which ones you like better. So right here I have a Copic sketch marker. So right here I have a Copic sketch marker. It has two ends. This side has the brush tip. This other side has a small chisel tip. Here's the Ahuhu markers. I have the brush version. Of course there is an old version which I don't have. This one also has a brush and it has a slightly bigger chisel tip to it. So when I first purchased the Ahuhu markers I got the 48 set for about $30. So each marker in that set was like 62 cents. But it was kind of strange because I got a 24 set of skin tones for about the same price. Which means I paid a little bit over a dollar for each marker for the skin tone set so I don't know what's up with that but honestly it is better than buying Copic markers because Copic markers retail for about seven to nine dollars per marker so honestly buying a hoo hoo markers is a better deal however a hoo hoo markers are not available individually if one of your markers runs out of ink you got to buy a whole nother set or at least to my knowledge you can't buy them individually but Copic markers are available pretty much everywhere and they are available individually so that's a good thing so the availability for a hoo hoo markers are just like any other other cheap markers out there so like you can't buy it individually you got to buy it in a set but if you do have one marker that runs out of ink you got to buy a whole another set which means you got a duplicate of almost every marker so you pretty much have a backup of everything uh, I don't know if that's a good thing to you guys but but it's a eh, for me so like I mentioned in the beginning I'm gonna split an entire illustration in half and color the same colors with the hoo hoo markers on one side and coping markers on the other side but I know you guys are wondering what a hoo hoo markers color selection is well it's not too bad but but for the sake of this video, I'm able to find the same amount of colors that I am going to use for this illustration compared to Copic markers. Because I will do some blending in this illustration. And I'll talk more on blending when I get to the illustration. I'll pretty much do a voiceover throughout. But for now, we're going to talk about colors. So Copic markers are available in 358 colors. It's a really big selection, believe it or not. But Ahuhu markers are available in 144 colors, which isn't bad. But with the selection of Ahuhu markers that I have, I have the 48 set and the 24 skin tone set. I'm able to match the same colors that I am going to use for uh, this illustration with Copic markers. So in my opinion, the color selection for both is not bad, but I'll let you guys decide in the end when I show the illustration side by side. And speaking of which, let's get to that. So before I get into talking about the markers, I'm going to talk to you guys about the inspiration for the drawing, in which I got from Fortnite. This character in the middle is supposed to be my current Fortnite skin, but not exactly like him. So the drawing I was planning on making originally, it was supposed to be based off Fortnite, but I didn't know what to include in it. So I just decided to put in my uh, Fortnite skin in it because I like the purple color scheme throughout my skin and I wanted to kind of incorporate that in my drawing because I don't often use the color purple in any of my drawings. So I figured I'd give purple a chance. And looking at this entire drawing, I feel like if me and my friends were sucked into this game during a match, something like this would be happening during the match. And I thought, hey, wouldn't that be cool and make that into an illustration because I've actually never based any of my drawings off of Fortnite before So I figured this would be kind of cool, but enough about Fortnite Let's get into talking about the markers So Copic markers right off the bat if anyone else watching this video uses Copic markers Then you would know that they are exceptional and efficient for blending and earlier I talked about blending in this illustration But the main reason I'm gonna blend in this illustration is because I didn't really provide any examples or demonstrations about blending before going to this part of the video but even though Copic markers are like the number one marker to blend with, there are some Ahuhu markers that I do use for blending with Copic markers because uh, sometimes when you're uh, using Copic markers, they don't always blend well, but 
Half the time, it depends on what paper you're using. But sometimes, if I don't have the right shade that I want to use for uh, my Copic blending, I tend to use an Ahuhu marker to add shades. Or if not, I'll do it the other way and use like a Ahuhu marker for the base color and then use Copic markers to blend that. So that's why I have a collection of both. Since most of your Copic markers have brush tips, it makes it easy to blend. Like, compared to using a chisel nib for blending, if you know what that is, I think I showed it earlier in the video. The chisel tip is like that hard tip and it makes it uh, harder to blend. I mean, depending on people's preference, people may find it easier to use a chisel nib for blending and I sometimes do it but not in every case but to my preference and I know other artists watching this video may agree with me that the brush tip is like the most ideal tip to blend but the brush tip is the most ideal tip to use when you're blending your alcohol markers but while I'm doing the Copic side it's not too hard to add shades to it because I can go straight from the base tone to the darkest tone and then like blend the mid tone in between like I can do that with Copic markers it's something I don't often do especially when I'm demonstrating something on YouTube because it's not always the best idea because sometimes when you go to add the mid tone last it sometimes doesn't really cooperate with you but I feel if you're doing stuff like this with a light color it's not that hard because that blending may not be hard to see depending on how light you want to go but if you're looking on the skin on this character over here you can't really see a lot of blending mistakes within the skin tone but in most cases it depends on what paper you're using but if you are going to get coping markers it's definitely worth the money so now onto the ahuhu side these markers did better than expected when i did the skin tone gradient i honestly didn't expect the smooth skin tone gradient although i guess you guys would expect me to know that since i use these markers since uh last year but the only thing i haven't done with the hoo-hoo markers yet is blend a light gray with the colorless blender and that's something i did in this video and just like what i said with the skin tone it's actually better than i anticipated honestly i was expecting like a watermark between the light gray and then the actual white of the paper but no I got a smooth gradient. The rest of the drawing was easy peasy. The only thing that got me was the red of the hat because I tried to find a dark red to blend with that original red because I didn't want any watermarks on this illustration even though I could touch it up in Photoshop but I'm not really trying to do all that for this illustration. But that shade of red actually looks more like a, a little bit of a desaturated red which isn't bad. You can see some shades in there just it's not much. It's good enough so that I can show my viewers that I did intend to add some shading in that area. Also something I wasn't really proud of was the purple hair on this character in the middle so I tried to make it that same purple that I use uh, coping markers on because that purple hair is kind of on the halfway point of the entire illustration so I tried to match that entire purple with the Ahuhu markers but I couldn't find a good enough purple to match it so I had to stick with a, sort of a lilac purple for this one but I also wanted to add another purple for the shades so the purple I use for the shades that is almost similar to the purple that I made for the Copic side but it's a bit more saturated so I I figured the lilac purple would be a little bit better. The same with the skin tone on this same character. Uh, the skin tone on the Ahuhu side is a little bit lighter because I couldn't find anything else to match it. But even though that's the case, I did find a perfect shade for that color which you might not be able to see because it is still a light skin tone. But all in all, the brush tips on the Ahuhu markers work great because compared to the Copic markers, the Copic markers actually do have a more flexible brush tip. Either that's the case or the fact that I've been using them for a long time. But yeah, the Ahuhu brush tip is a little bit more stiff than Copic markers. But it still allows you to get the most out of your markers when it comes to blending. Like, blending won't be hard with a stiff brush tip. As long as it's a brush tip and it can blend alcohol inks together, then it should be fine. I feel the only difference between the two is that since the brush tip is more stiff on the Ahuhu markers, you tend to hold it a little bit differently than you would if you were holding a Copic marker. But honestly, if you are using Ahuhu markers and you're not satisfied with the brush tip, think about it. It's better than a fine tip. And speaking of which, that's what the old Ahuhu markers used to have, which I don't have. I just got the brush tips when they first came out, only because I feel they're better suited for me and what I need to use them for. So here's my finished illustration with a side-by-side -side comparison with Copic markers on the left-hand side and Rahufu markers on the right-hand side. Also, let me know in the comments which brand you would prefer and also if you liked my illustration. But if you did like my illustration or if you liked my video, give it a like and a comment. If you're new to my channel, I do lots of drawing tutorials, speed drawings, art challenges, and more. So if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I can't let it go like Pancake